Today I'm here to share with you five very important tips which will help you crack any entrance examination you are going to face. Let it be NEET, let it be JE, let it be advanced exam or let it be any state level entrance examination you are facing. These five tips will get you through. And the tip number one is analyze yourself. By analyzing yourself, what I refer to is identifying your weak and strong points. As a student, you may feel that I'm a total big zero and I don't know anything. But believe me when I say this, that's not the truth. You know something, but the only problem is you don't know that you know it. So the first step is to analyze yourself. So how do you do this analyzing? To do the analysis, the most simple and the efficient way I would suggest is to write a full on mock test. Mock question papers are available online or you can simply take a previous year question paper, set a time and then write the exam. At the end of the exam, do the correction and try to identify the weak and strong points. Your weak and strong points. And make a list of all the important topics. Make a list of all the topics which you feel you don't know. Once you do that, we move on to the second phase. And that's tip number two for you. Prioritize. So in the first step, you have analyzed your weak and strong points. And uh, instead of writing the test, you can also just open your material, whichever you're using. Go through it page by page. Write down the topics you don't know. That is also another way of putting it. But my suggestion, write an exam. That's better. And the second tip is prioritizing the topics one by one. So how do you do the prioritizing process? For prioritizing, you have to make use of some videos available on the YouTube or some material in the internet, which will tell you what is the chapter wise weightage for each and every single subject for the entrance exam you're appearing for. Now, let me tell you, there is no clear cut weightage as such. But based on the previous question paper analysis, say for the last five years, you can actually somewhat arrive at a conclusion on which are the most important chapters I should go through first. I'm not asking you to skip the other chapters, but prioritize, determine which are the most important chapters and then prioritize your topics one by one. For physics, I'm actually doing a video on that so you can go through it straight away. Okay, now moving on to the third step. The third step is to prepare a detailed schedule. So when you're preparing a schedule, it's very important that you keep only attainable goals in your schedule. You should not write in your schedule that I'm going to finish the entire physics subject in a single day. That is totally unattainable and you know what will happen at the end of the day? You will feel depressed. Oh, I was not able to follow the schedule properly. You will fall into depression. So please don't do that, my dear students. Instead, keep some attainable schedules for every single day. Plan it ahead. Keep some time for leisure and relaxation. Incorporate everything into a schedule. Unless you do that, unless you have a well-prepared schedule, you won't be able to crack the exam effectively. And make sure you have one more thing in your schedule. And that is that is number four. Time for revision. Revision is a very integral part of your learning process. Just imagine a situation like this. You're starting from this end and you're reaching the other end. When you reach the other end, you realize that you don't remember anything that you have learned previously. Just imagine that situation. I'm sure that there is no much imagination needed because every one of you have gone through that phase. Even I have gone through that during my school days. So very important step is to revise regularly and properly. Effective revision will only guide you through. So make sure you revise everything even the numericals you practice even the questions you practice you have to make sure you revise and don't ever feel that the time spent on revision is a waste believe me when i say this if you don't revise properly whatever you have learned it's just gone with the wind 
If you have photographic memory and everything, then it's absolutely fine. Okay. But normal humans don't do that, have that. So please make sure you revise properly. And that's tip number four. In your schedule, you have to incorporate one more thing. And that is the tip number five. Practice numericals. Or I should say, practice sufficient number of question papers. Write mock exams. Set the time. And write maximum number of mock exams as possible. If it's possible, make sure you write a single exam every single day. And do the corrections also. When you write the exam, make sure you have a strategy. And the best strategy I would suggest to you is to use the EMD strategy, which I had actually discussed in a previous video. And for those who don't know the EMD strategy, I'll just brief it up into in few words. First question, if you, you have no idea what the question is about, just write a D on the margin, then move to the next one. Don't spend too much time on that. Just read it once. If you have no idea, just write D, move to the next one. The second question you have read, ah, you have seen that question somewhere, but you are not quite sure how to do it. Write an M at the margin, move to the next one. And the next question, ah, you know how to do this question. This is easy. You know how to do this question. Do it straight away. Just put a tick mark there or something. Not necessarily to write E there. Just put a tick mark or something. The fourth question again, ah, uh, you have no idea. You have not seen it anywhere. So put a D. By the time you have finished one round, you have gone through all the questions and you have completed all the easy questions there. Now the second round. If we have sufficient time, go to the medium level questions, which are marked as M. Solve it one by one. Take your time. And again, if you have time left, once you finish the medium level questions, go for the difficult ones. If you don't go by this method, what will happen is you will not get sufficient time and you will miss out on the easy questions that are there in the question paper. The difficult questions, you may get it wrong. And the easy questions, you don't get sufficient time to finish. So the best method is to follow the EMD strategy and make sure you follow the strategy on every single mock exam you write. You cannot actually go to the final entrance examination and you can just apply the strategy all of a sudden over there. No, that's not possible. So please do remember the five tips and follow it in a cycle. What are the five tips? Analyze yourself, prioritize, prepare a detailed schedule, revision, and the fifth one, practice mock exams. I hope the plan is clear for you. So all the best for your success in the examination. And in case you have any doubts in preparing schedule or anything, comment below. I'll be very happy to help you out. So do subscribe to the channel if you have not. And thank you.